How you guys doing tonight? Thank you very much for joining me. Tonight we're doing a face shave and we're going to review a soap from a company that I've never actually used before. Chiseled Face. I am Chad from CD Shaving. Folks, this is going to be a great shave. I'm really looking forward to trying this out. It's got a scent on it that I've never actually had before. Uh, Ghost Town Barber. <clears throat> this is a barbershop scent, which I don't have, believe it or not. So uh, I'm really excited to give this a shot. Mr. Bradner, thank you very much. And uh, so we got this. We had this blooming in, in uh, dry blooming. And we'll, again, we're going to do a video on blooming in a, in a couple of days. So we'll talk about that. But so the soap is bloomed. Tonight we're going to be doing a bowl lather. Because I really want to see how the soap, how the scent comes out. And for the shave, we're going to be using the Ming Shi, the future clone, uh, adjustable. And we're going to set, start off the, uh, the shave with two and a half with a fresh Astra SP blade. Tonight, for the soap, or for the brush, we're going to be using the Game Changer Knot, ladies and gentlemen, in the Whip Dog handle. So. Let's crack this open and give this a smell here. Oh, yeah. Now, I've smelled barbershop like scents before, but this is different. This is definitely has a, uh, has like a different ad addition to it. I've also got the Chiseled Face Ghost Town Barber Aftershave Splash. We're going to be finishing that off tonight. Yeah, this is good. Let's talk about this soap. We're going to go ahead and uh, get it loaded up here. Wet our brush. Today's holiday, happy Anna and Samantha day, ladies and gentlemen. So if you happen to know somebody who's named Anna or Samantha, it's their day. Their day. So take them out to eat or something. Anyway, all right, we're going to get this uh, soap loaded up here. We're going to load it, and then we're going to get it lathered. So a little bit about this. It's uh, Again, it is Ghost Town Barber uh, Aftershave Splash and Soap. Uh, it is made by Chiseled Face. It is a towel-based soap. It comes in a four. Wow, that loads fast. Holy cow. Wow, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's more than enough. Holy cow. I think that's the fastest. It, wow, all right, well, we're going to set this aside. Take the bowl out. Well, ease of uh, loading is there. I'm just going to throw that right on my face. The extras. Um, okay, so it comes in a, it is tallow based. It comes in a four ounce container. Chiseled, it is available at chiseledface.com or maggardrazors.com. Uh, it is for $14.99 respectively. And the splash is, about, is the same cost. Uh, about the company, they were established between 2013 and 2014. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start. Whoops. Throwing lather around here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So established between 2013 2014, so they've been at it about three to four years. Uh, they're out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Um, they started, the owner of the company started wet shaving and he happened to like the products that were out there, but he wasn't crazy about the scents. So he wanted to make more manly scents in his opinion or stuff that appealed to him more. So it wasn't necessarily about the product performance, which is kind of unusual. We usually hear that classic story about how the products just don't work for them, right? And uh, so they go and make their own. Well, this, this guy just decided to make, uh, make his own because he wasn't crazy about the scents, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so this particular soap has stearic acid, aloe vera juice, uh, potassium hydroxide, beef tallow, coconut oil, castor oil, glycerin fragrance, Mango butter, avocado oil, and silk powder. Wow, this stuff smells really, really nice. Um, they describe it as a classic barbershop scent with a western twist. I'd have to say they do have a nice western twist on that. Um, the main notes being bergamot, basil leaf, white patchouli, 
Oak Moss Texas Cedar Leather Smoke and Gunpowder. Yeah, it definitely, the smoke is just barely there. I'm not much of a smoke fan in, in, um, in my lathers. The smoke is just barely there, though, which is kind of nice. It adds to it. Um, it gives it that. I do think of a, uh, I think of some dusty old, like, boots, but in kind of a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. That's a good thing. Um, ease of, of lathering. I mean, you can... Whoa, I don't want to lose this here. I mean, look at that. I don't know if you can catch that, the depth on that. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'm about ready to throw this in the face here. So, um, yeah. All right, throw a little bit of water on here just for good measure. All right. Oh, yeah, this scent is incredible. Yeah, I'm liking this. And the slickness is definitely there. I gotta keep grabbing at that Allen block. You know, when I first started wet shaving, I wasn't really I smelled the classic barbershop scent a couple of times in different soaps. And I wasn't really crazy about it. It just kind of was plain to me, but I don't think that's the... I don't feel that's the case now. And it's not just because of this soap. I just... You know, I just I feel like it's just a good scent to have. It's not the only scent in, in my shave that I, I like cologne scents typically, but... I've kind of branched out. Wow. This, <laughs> this is awesome. I'm going to add just a touch of water to it. Yeah, there we go. Just a hair. Square it off here. All right, let's see how she does. With the grain, the old uh, Ming Shi. I got about a day's worth of growth on here, if that. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of pushing the envelope as far as that's concerned, but um, I really wanted to try this soap. It smelled incredible when I opened this thing, wound it right here. So I'm not, that's why I got the adjustable here so I can start off with kind of a You know, a, a, a um, less aggressive setting. Yeah, less aggressive setting that I will be quickly increasing in a minute here.
This is a really nice scent. Really is. This is kind of out of my realm for scents, you know what I mean? But it's really, I really do like this. This is... It's just, it's hard to describe actually. You know, I've had um, scents before where I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm smelling a pack of cigarettes. But this isn't like that at all. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to increase the resist um, the aggressiveness on this razor. Wow. Lots of residual slickness, I can tell you that. Nice, nice uh, pass. I'm liking this. Let's uh, let's do a reapplication here. Got plenty of lather, so might as well just cake it on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, goes right on like it's nothing. Plenty, plenty of lather in there. All right, we're gonna increase this to a, uh, we're gonna bump it up to a, a four. And then we'll go six on the last couple. Uh, eyes to ears for the cross grain. Yeah, I like the slickness in this. It really allows me to make multiple passes. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, this is a good good scent. I like this quite a bit.
Mm. Yeah, don't do what I just did. I don't know if you saw that. I blew out my cheek. Just as I put the razor up to it, blow it out first, then apply the razor. Don't do it the other way around. It's a good way to cut yourself. There. All right. Again, plenty of that residual slickness. I'm liking that. I still like the scent. It smells really good. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and do a, uh, the other cross grain. We're going to go um, ears to eyes, and then we're going to do our um, against the grain and a cleanup pass. So we're going to finish out the shave here, and then we'll come back with our final thoughts on this along with the application of the aftershave. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. The shave is completed. I've done all my passes. I did the with the grain, two cross grains, against the grain, and a cleanup pass. Awesome, awesome shave. Um, it really left my face feeling nice. I don't have a lot of residual slickness after I rinsed everything off, so I'm definitely going to need a, um, a post-shave bomb. Um, but... Before I do that, we're going to throw on some Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel here. This stuff smells so much better than the crap I was using before. It really does. So, we're just going to rinse the hand off. Um, while we're, uh, we're just giving it a second to set in before I rinse it off, the, again, just a reminder, we're doing the chiseled face. Ghost Town Barber Shave Soap, awesome, awesome soap. I really like this. Um, the ease of loading was there. I mean, I had it within seconds. The um, ease of lathering, I mean, no time at all. It took me a minute to dial in the soap ratio, but I mean the soap water ratio, but it's like that with every single soap, right? Once I figured it out, I was good. Um, we're just going to take a second and throw on some... Uh, let's go with... I'm going to go with Nivea. Throw a little bit of this on before we do the aftershave. I always do my, my balm first. Um, that goes against a lot of what other people do because the aftershave dry, dries out the skin. But I like the way the aftershave smells. And I mean, I like the way this stuff smells too, but the aftershave smells better. And I don't want it to uh, dissipate. I mean, I don't want it, yeah, I don't want to cover it up with that stuff. So, all right. Uh, so, ease of lather lathering, ease of loading is there. The cushion, the density, it's all there. The residual slickness in between passes is definitely there. Post shave, eh, you know, I give it a 5 out of 10. But I'm certainly, you know, it, it wouldn't affect me purchasing this soap by any means. Um, and I, I don't think you should for you either. Just throw on an aftershave bomb. It's not a big deal. Um, it's not that. Yeah, see, I, I already. I already feel 100% better. Actually, I can smell the, I can smell this through that aftershave bomb. Believe it or not, I didn't think I'd be able to, but I can. So, um, just cleaning up the razor here. So, yeah, I mean, I, I highly recommend it. That everything was there. The uh, of the scent strength, I'm going to give the scent. I'm going to give it a. Uh, probably about a six you know it's 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 definitely there it's not light by any means but it's not so it's not overpowering it is not overpowering and i can't wait to give this uh this aftershave a shot here uh we're just cleaning up the 
I always take my razors apart. Always do after I uh, do a shave. Uh, another thing I tend to do, which I know a lot of you guys don't, is I put the blade back in and I put the razor away. I put it away kind of loosely. So like in this instance, I'll, you know, I open it up all the way, which it was anyway, and I'll drop the, the blade back in. And I have never had a problem. It helps me keep track of the razors and the blades. And what's been used, what, and how many times. And so that's there. Yeah, this is actually, yeah, this is good to go. All right. After shave, chiseled face. Give it a little shake here. Oof, yeah. I can smell the gunpowder in this one. It's not, you know, crazy. It's not like you're going to smell like nothing but gunpowder, but. I like this. Yeah, I do like this. A lot. It smells a little bit differently. Um, but it definitely feels nice and cool. Um, oh, it's got witch hazel. Oh, it has menthol in it. That's why. Um, it's got alcohol, witch hazel, aloe. Fragrance. Yeah, this is nice. Wow feels wow i like this a lot i can feel that menthol kicking in it's not heavy you know it's not like um barrister and man's artique but it's it's nice well i like that a lot so all right guys thank you very much for joining me that is it for the shave tonight i highly recommend this soap if you get a chance to pick it up do so also um don't forget, we're going to be doing a live video at the end of the week. Uh, we'll do a little bit of shave talk with whoever comes on. We'll go back and forth and discuss a to given topic. This week, it's going to be blooming, I think. So, um, thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Folks, if you uh, shave tonight, have a great shave. Have a great night. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up on it. Give me a like. Get that ticker up there. And... If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, jump on board. Make sure you hit the bell so every time I do a new video and get it on there, you'll get a notification. So, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. So, thank you again. Thank you very much for joining me. Folks, have a good night. I am Chad with CD Shaven, and we'll see you guys in the next video.